Hey there guys, Zach here from Inbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a first look at the Windows 10 technical preview for phones. Now right now this technical preview is only available on a small amount of devices. More device support will be coming later but right now this preview runs on the Lumia 630, the 635, the 730 and the 830 as well as a couple other devices which I can't remember off the top of my head. So this technical preview is the first of many and uh, includes the base functions of Windows Phone 10 or Windows 10 Mobile or whatever you want to call it. It has new tile sizes which you can see here, there is a new tall or long tile size which is up and thin and there's also a new very large one which you just saw there. These new tile sizes are developer dependent meaning not all tiles can do that right now, uh, it does depend on the developer to implement the functionality. So it will take some time before all of your apps can do this, so uh, just, just give it some time for developers to update. Also new in Windows 10 Mobile is the, an updated notification centre. As you can see here you can expand the quick action bu uh, buttons and get 12 action buttons to tap from. Uh, straight from the notification center and there is also the introduction of actionable notifications in Windows 10 for phones. So what that means is that if you get a notification you can swipe down from from the notification and if it's a text reply from the text reply to the text from wherever you are on the device. Uh, this is very similar to the iOS 8 functionality which when you get text or a call or something you can swipe down and you can deal with it without having to exit your app you're currently in which is a very nice addition to Windows Phone. I'm glad this has finally made it. We're going to be taking a look at the new settings app, which is available in this build. The new app includes a brand new user interface, uh, one that uh, resembles the version on desktops. So uh, here it is. Very text-based, uh, but finally, the settings app is organized sort of the first bits organized into different areas but then once you click into a certain area or tap into a certain area it kind of gets messy again as you can see here clicking on system it does give you a list of system options but as you can see offices in here which is I don't know why office is in the system bit but yeah it still gets a bit messy and as you can see here this is the build number 9941.12498 which is fairly nice so a few elements of this settings app is up to date as well, clicking on these options. However, not all of them are. Right now, some of the links are simply acting as portals to the old user interface settings on Windows Phone 8.1. So let's see if we can show you that now. So here's what I'm saying when I mean the old UI still exists. Clicking on ease and access gives you that old user interface. Now, like I said, not all of the elements of the settings app is updated. Uh, a few areas are, but not all of them are, so do keep that in mind when you install this preview and run through the settings app. There's an extras bit down at the bottom which I haven't actually seen before. Uh, this extras bit includes a bunch of extra data for I think Lumid devices or whatever firmware your device is running, so for Samsung, special Samsung firmware or uh, HTC firmware, that all goes into this area here, so uh, you don't lose out on any of that uh, on Windows 10 either. There's a number of other new apps in this build as well. Uh, the Alarms app and the Calculator app are the same apps which are found on Windows 10 for desktop. These are the first universal apps and run the same code across phone and ta uh, desktop or tablet or which whatever's running Windows 10, they share similar code. Uh, the UI is very similar. Uh, this Alarms app does support new notific uh, action actionable notifications, meaning once you get an alarm, you can swipe down on the notification and snooze it or dismiss it from wherever you are without having to navigate away from your app. And here is the calculator app. Again, the same app is available on the desktop. And here is its new user interface. A much cleaner user interface. I think this is the new modern UI, modern UI 2.0, I like to call it. So yes, these are the new apps. And there will be a lot more apps coming to Windows 10 for phones and the desktop in future builds, which will share similar code as well. Uh, Office Touch is just one off the top of my head, which uh, is a universal app and will be coming soon to these devices. New in Windows Phone 10 is the ability to set a custom background behind the tiles instead of within the tiles. 
So uh, let's browse for a new wallpaper here. Let's. Uh, there's a great picture of uh, Satya Nadella. Let's use him. And if we go back to the home screen, you will now see that the lovely Satya Nadella is sitting behind our tiles. Now, this is the new user interface for Windows Phone 10. Instead of the tiles, uh, the background being within the tiles, it's now behind them. And I think that's actually better because it matches what's going on on the desktop too. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if you can get the background back in the tiles. I know some people like that. Um, I will have to follow up with information about that. But for now, this is what it looks like when you set a background on the uh, behind tiles. Uh, the apps list, as you can see here, does dim a little bit. And uh, opening the, a new app, this is the new file explorer. Now, this app is... It's a basic file explorer. So as you can see here, you can get access to all of your areas in which you store files. This is the local local storage on the device. Going into documents, if I had Word documents or TXT files or anything in there, I could click on it and it would open the relevant app. This is going into my SD, uh, SD card. And if I had, again, any files on here, I'd be able to open them and so on and so forth. Opening things like videos finally gives you an open with command, meaning you'd, it won't just open up in the music backstop app. Uh, it can open, you can choose pictures, uh, which will play the video in the new picture, um, pictures, uh, sorry, the new photos app, which has a, a video player on it, and that's a pretty good one to use. Now, Cortana has received a facelift in this new version of Windows. She now shares a UI very similar to that found on the Windows 10 version on desktop. So instead of her being black, she's now white. Uh, so this is what she looks like. The buttons are a bit iffy. They don't look very clean right now, but I believe that will get fixed by the time she uh, reaches RTM. So here's her home screen. She works like she usually does. You can press the button down at the bottom right and she talk to her, ask her questions, ask her to tell you a joke, so on and so forth. So I believe Kip's about to do this now. What are you going to say, Kip? Go to win beta. Okay, I bet that doesn't work. Oh, well, bloody hell, it did work. That is impressive. But yeah, here's the new search results as you saw there, and this should now open up Internet Explorer. No Spartan app available in this build yet, much like on the desktop version. Spartan is coming later, so uh, don't worry about that right now. And yeah, that is pretty much uh, the basics of Cortana. Again, uh, her functions are very similar. She just has a new user interface that matches that found on the desktop. So there you have it guys, that's a first quick look at the Windows 10 technical preview for phones. Now sorry I wasn't able to dive in a bit deeper uh, on this video, I don't actually have a, a device with Windows 10 on it that I can show you. Uh, this is because Microsoft has limited the amount of devices which Windows 10 supports right now and I don't have any of them. So uh, this video was recorded by Kip and uh, he's just given me bits and pieces for me to record over. So thanks to him for recording the bits and pieces he did. Uh, with the next technical preview launch, hopefully I will have a device which is compatible with uh, the new build and I'll be able to show you in depth a few more features such as the pull down notification centers, uh, no, actionable notifications, sorry, uh, as well as a, a better look at Cortana and the Windows Feedback app and the File Explorer and, well, all of it. So yes, thank you much for watching guys and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.